Hey guys, it's Nerd Nick, and today we're going to be testing whether or not a higher C battery really is worth it. Some people say you get more top speed, more thrust, more pull out, but we're going to run some numbers, put these batteries head to head, and settle this once and for all. What we have here is two 1000 milliamp three cell batteries. One's rated at 65C and one's rated at 35C. So the motor we're going to be testing with here is a Hobby King Fun Fighter replacement motor. Now we're going to run this on a 525-625 prop and it should only pull about 20 amps with this setup. So you got to ask yourself, if I have a battery that's 1000 milliamps and rated at 35C, that's good for 35 amps, right? Why would I need more um, than 20 amps? My, my battery can supply way more than the 20 that the motor needs. So what's the point of having this 65C battery which can deliver 65 amps when realistically the motor only needs 20? So, fair question. We're going to put these batteries head to head and see is there really any truth to this? So the way we're going to test this is we have a watt meter that's going to tell us how many watts and amps um, the motor is pulling and then I've got a little battery voltage meter that's going to tell us each cell how much it's sagging under load and then uh, I have a RPM sensor on my radio that will show just how fast the prop is spinning. Now RPM is important because I'm not going to be testing this on a plane, we're going to be doing this here on the bench. Now RPM tells us how many revolutions per minute this motor is going to take with this prop. Now, Knowing how fast it's spinning with the different batteries is going to tell us how fast that translates to in the air. And if one battery gives you a faster spinning motor than the other, then you know you're getting more power, which translates to more speed, more thrust, more responsiveness. So let's go ahead and run each of these up and take a look at the results. Okay guys, so straight off the gate we're going to say the 65C battery definitely performed better. But let's look at why that is. One thing that was apparent is that under load, the cells held a higher voltage compared to the 35C battery. We looked at about 3.93 on the 65C and only 3.32 on the 35C. That's a pretty big difference. Now the voltage numbers that we saw are really going to set the stage for the rest of the numbers that we see. Your battery is only able to deliver 4.2 volts on a fully charged cell. But as soon as you apply load to that, the cells are going to drop to try and keep up with the, the demand. And so every bit that it drops reduces the number of volts coming out, the total volts. And, and what that really means is that the, the lower number of volts going into the motor is the slower it's going to spin. Because the way the KV operates, it's going to be whatever your voltage is times the KV of the motor. So if your voltage goes down, your KV also goes down, your RPM goes down. On one full rotation of the motor, Whatever your pitch is, is how far the motor would travel in inches in that one rotation, assuming perfect efficiency. So if I say the motor is spinning at 17,300 RPMs, we know then, based on the pitch of the prop, how far it's traveling in inches, and then we can divide that and, and, and give you a number of miles per hour. The formula for that is RPMs, so 17,300, times the pitch of the prop, 6.25, divided by 1056. That gives you your miles per hour. So it plays out like this. The 65C battery held 17 amps and about 213 watts of power. That gave us 17,300 average RPMs for this setup. Now the, the 35C battery did not perform nearly as well. We only held 14 amps and about 157 watts. That gave us 15,200 uh, RPMs and that's being generous. Uh, if you, As you watch the, the video, you saw that the RPMs were dropping very quickly. The 65C battery, um, it held that uh, the 17,300 number pretty well. It was starting to slowly go down, but it was pretty strong there. The, the 35C battery was dropping off very fast. It rapidly went. So you, you're losing speed the longer you're, you're holding the, the throttle and, and then ultimately throughout the pack. Next time you throttle up, you're going to get even less RPMs. So that translated to about 89 miles per hour. 
which still isn't so bad. But when you compare it to the 102, that's a 13% reduction in speed. So the follow-up question there is, is it really worth it? Is it worth the cost? Is it worth the weight? Now this battery is actually bigger in size. Um, there, you can't pack in more power out of nowhere, right? You have to, energy dense, uh, density comes with additional weight and size. That's just the way the LiPo technology is right now. And so the difference there is this battery, the 35C battery weighs um, 85 grams and the 65C battery comes in at 114 grams. So a difference of about 29 grams. So for, for 29 grams additional weight, you're getting 13% additional power. So really your only, your only penalty here is 29 grams of weight, which on, on a plane that's gonna hold this battery, you're looking at you know, maybe 20 inch wingspan plane, 25 inch wingspan plane, um, and it's not gonna matter. 29 grams is nothing considering how much additional power you're gonna get here. The other side is cost. Um, the batteries definitely do not cost the same amount, so there is some additional overhead there. Now for me, the extra cost and weight is not that big of a deal, so it's worth it. I'd like to get that extra 13% power using the same setup. So I hope you guys have learned something here. The question of does a higher C battery really perform better? The answer is yes. Even if your motor only needs 20 amps, higher C battery is going to give you a lot closer to that and it's going to hold it for longer and ultimately give you more punch, more RPM, you know, higher speed. Thanks guys for watching. We'll see you next time.